Welcome to the pilot episode of Spinvestigators. Dwayne Tan here with you. Spinvestigators is a series that explores the lesser known or hidden truths about certain topics in Singapore. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the elderly. Now, the elderly face many challenges like discrimination against getting jobs. Uh, they are put into elderly homes. Sometimes they even hoard, and that can be a problem. This episode specifically focuses on should the elderly be working? As simple as that. So we're going to go on the streets. We're going to talk to some people and find out what is really happening. One of the criteria is actually medical health. The health issue is an important factor. If they're still agile, they're, they can still process different things. They can, they can progress with the times. I think they can work unless it's something that's going to be very strenuous for them. To me, it's about a 50-50 situation as to whether old people should work or not. It really depends on what they're capable of doing. Some old people are a little slower. Some of them don't even um, behave their age because they may be old, but they have the mindset of a 40-year-old or a 50-year-old and they're still very active. I would say this is more of a personal choice. I would say that it depends on what kind of job nature it is. If it's a sedentary lifestyle or a job nature, then I would say that yeah, go ahead, why not? You can tap on the experience and teach the younger generations like mentorship. And in return, you can learn from them as well. Who am I supposed to report to? Goodness, a young person. I remember him, he's my junior. Now I got to report to him. And that's a reality. So can the senior actually adjust their mindset to work? If all people need to find work, I think the most accessible type of job would be fast food restaurants and there are also a lot of them um, serving in restaurants nowadays so I think those kind of jobs are easiest to get within the shortest time period. You have 80 year olds as cleaners, you have 70 year olds as taxi drivers, why are they not at home enjoying their grandchildren? We are not treating the old people right because um, if you think about it, would you really want to be, especially when I, when I sit down for a meal and when I eat, right, I think about how that could be my mother. I feel that there's definitely value in hiring the elderly because they are able to provide perspectives that we might not have, especially because they've been working in the past 40 years that the new generation might not have worked in. We have so much to learn from old people, they're very wise, they have so many things to teach us and um, the thing about young people these days is that we think we know everything. Because as much as we will want to hire elderly, there's also a subsection of elderly that are not skilled or not prepared for a knowledge economy. Knowledge, I need to go and find out myself. Computers now, all kinds of computers come out. So things like that, they need to learn. Uh, it really depends on whether they are still willing to learn or not, willing to upgrade themselves. If they're not, then it might be difficult for them to get the jobs that they want. Retirement age is actually 62. I'm 69, going to 70. I choose to continue working after the official, my official retirement age. Because firstly, I, I'm healthy, I'm still very healthy. And secondly, uh, I think, I believe that I still uh, can make contribution to the society. I love this job. I like to meet people. Uh, it gives me the opportunity to meet people all around the world, from uh, all walks of life. Oh yes, as long as they are healthy, and they enjoy uh, the work they are doing. I think they should choose to carry on. Oh, I was born in 1979, now I'm Hey, 
，佢識得應付嗰啲熟客嚟到揾佢問佢啊，誒咩姐啊，有咩好食啊，佢識介紹，識得介紹咁咯，就識得誒嗰個菜裏邊係有乜嘢乜嘢嘅，佢識佢嘅人客嗰個啲人客解釋,、那個那個、人客解釋有咩咩嘢咁樣。我就話我哋又開心啦，又又當係半半做工半運動咁樣啦，咁樣都幾好嘅。又因為我哋有興趣，因為十幾歲就做做呢呢一行啦，做咗好似覺得有好好自然咁樣好興趣咁做啦。見到嘢就愛做，做咗嘢做。因為我哋個誒身體能夠做到嚟嘅，我哋就做咯，唔會話。你你若唔做嘅，你翻屋企無無聊聊咁樣啊，好快流痴呆啊！我為咗 Singaporean 生活，我 agent， 因為 agent 做三次 ，and actually we are facing a labour shrinking shortage. The company in turn need to adjust the environment to fit the senior, so it's the other way around. But really, if the company to adjust, what are the things to adjust? Understand that the senior. Would not be able, or they may not be able to uh, endure the long hours that the work demand. And then we also factor in the medical, which means to say that they need to see doctor. Doctor appointment gets more frequent. It is a factor for the company to consider. And companies themselves, they must actually accept that and start to think seriously: How are we going to change the environment to fit our senior uh, seniors to come? There you have it. I hope you learned something new about Singapore, which you never knew before. And of course, we're going to continue exploring these topics. Feel free to suggest them to us, and we'll explore them in our future episodes to come. Thanks for tuning in to Spin Investigators. Till the next time, bye.